Good morning, fam. This morning I am making some codfish patties. So I thought I would share with you. I am watching this girl who's vlogging about pastry patisseries in Paris. Good night. I remember being in Paris and our hotel was right next. This is some cilantro. I just chopped some fresh cilantro. Our hotel was close to a French bakery. And I think we went there like in May. So it was nice. It wasn't cold. We slept with our windows open. As soon as you wake up, that smell from the patisserie just whiffed Oh my gosh. Okay. In here, I have red onions, all different colored peppers, and some, um, some garlic. And then I just put some cilantro. All right. Now this particular person says she can handle her heat. So I'm going to add another. I have like half a jalapeno in there. But I think I'm just going to add some more hot peppers. She's from Africa, so she can hold her heat. But I'm not going to leave the seeds in there. That might be a little over the top. And these are true scotch bonnet. Mm, she's done. That was good. Ooh, they're wearing the bonnet beret. Very French. I guess I decided I'm not, I can't retire anywhere in Europe. The history is still too, <sighs> too fresh for me. Okay. So I am going to bring this up. So you guys can see. Maldives, okay. <laughs> Maldives. fish you know it gets really salty so I soaked it last night and changed the water several times and then this morning I boiled it just to make sure that it's not going to be salty now let me taste this to make sure I have my flavors on point make sure I have a good balance of acid and salt and heat now this is my seafood spectacular so i'm going to add a little bit of that in here because i'm cooking fish so <clears throat> just finished working out Oh, my heart is so heavy. What? Oh my, it is hot. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Some salt. Ooh. Yes, it is. Okay. 
you know, I shouldn't have put some salt in there. I should have put the fish in there first. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's my favorite color too, purple. Putting the fish in. Let's see. Mm, that's good. It's not salty. You know, my uh, my memories of when we cooked fish at home when I was growing up, it was that it was really, oops, really, really salty. She's looking really Parisian with her beret. Just to, to soften the fish. This is the water that the fish was boiled in. You guys have seen me make the pat patties. So this is just to show you the another type of filling, but I'm not gonna keep the video. You know, I have the hardest time. I, listen, I got me a Mac computer, but that computer is kicking my you know what, because I just don't know how to do things in there. The other day I had a a file I was supposed to share with someone. It kept saying, there is like a WPS office or something. It kept saying it's not shareable. They could not open the file. It's just so annoying. So finally, my old HP, which is where I have my software to edit the videos. So I've been putting the videos, you know, just as is with no music, nothing. And when you go to post on YouTube, where it asks you to put the thumbnail, I can't get the pictures to come out as a thumbnail. You know, I think I'm gonna hire somebody on Fiverr to do that, to edit those videos. I think it will be worth every minute. All right, let's see. Doesn't that look pretty? It's beautiful. Good. Just not quite up to my standard. I know what I'm gonna put a little bit. I did get my new minor vegetable base. Came from Amazon. So I am gonna put a little bit in that. A little bit of that in there. Because it's got all the meal pois and the salt. That probably should do it. And then I'm gonna add some some butter. And then that way it's just gonna be the perfect filling. I have to make sure it's dry enough so it doesn't make my pâtés wet. Yes. That's where skills come in, right guys? 
All right, let's see what we got. Bam. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, so now some butter. You know, now it's got the right amount of heat. Okay. So, are we ready? Ready to fill? Well, I'm making patties today for two different people. This one here, I have some beef. That is boiling because I didn't have ground beef, so I'm just going to let it cook really soft and then I'm going to shred it and use it like that. This is why when you cook, you're very inventive. Whatever you have, you can make it work. Okay? You ready? All right. This is my codfish mixture. That is going to be the filling for the pâtés this week. Au revoir, à la prochaine.